it's my great pleasure to invite the newest referee in the city to present her speech, standing beside her husband, Bishop. Uh, our Deputy President, Rigami Gashawa, uh, our Archbishop, and our guest, Bishop Archbishop uh, Wangombe. Uh, all protocols observed. Kanila wa JCM, Madani Awosho. Madani Awosho. Thank you so much. Wow. It is such a beautiful day that the Lord has made. My name is Jocelyn Mogorengaru, and I am deeply honored and humbled to stand before you today on this historical occasion of my ordination as a reverend in JCM Church alongside my beloved husband, who has been ordained as a church bishop. First and foremost, I would like to ex express my profound gratitude to the God Almighty, who has called us into this noble service and has been our guide and strength. As Psalmist says in Psalms 28, 7, The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. It is by his grace and mercies that we are here today. Amen. I want to extend my heartful thanks to Archbishop Harrison Nganga for leading this ordination ceremony. Your wisdom, your leadership, your unwavering commitment to the work of the Lord have been tremendous blessing to us. We are deeply grateful for your guidance and for entrusting us with this sacred responsibility. Pamoja with Mam Lucy. Thank you so much. To my dear parents who uh, are not here with us today, words cannot fully express my gratitude for your love, support, and godly foundation you have laid in my life. Proverbs 22.6 remind us, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. You, your teaching prayers and unweaving faith have been instrumental in shaping my spiritual journey. Thank you for believing in me and nurturing my calling. To, the, to my wonderful husband, my partner in life and in ministry, I am so blessed to walk in this path with you. Your love, encouragement, and unweaving faith have been my anchor. As we are told in the Bible, tell us Two, uh, two are better than one because they have a good return from their labor. If either of them fall down, one can help other up. Together, we will serve the Lord and his people, lifting each other up and working hand in hand in his glory. <laughs> to the members of JCM Church and its leadership, you are our family in Christ. Your prayers, support, and fellowship have been a source of strength and joy. As we step in these new roles, we are committed to serving you with humanity, humility, love, um, humility, love, and dedication. Uh, Hebrews 10, 24-25 encourages us and let us consider how we may spur one another towards love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some, as some are in habit of doing, but encouraging one another and all more as we see the day approaching. Together we will build a strong, vibrant and loving community of faith. I would also like to take a moment to acknowledge the trials, tribulations and that have been part of my journey. Through every hardship, the Lord has been my my steadfast refuge. James 1, 2 to 4 reminds us, consider, the pure, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because 
uh, you because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature, complete, not lacking anything. These challenges has only strengthened me, strengthened my resolves and deepened my faith. Lastly, to my friend and family, the Jones, I'm grateful for your friendship and support. Your prayers and encouragement has been a great blessing to me. Your friendship and support has been a testament to this truthful day. As we embark in this new journey, I reminded myself of the word of Jesus Christ, Matthew 20:26. 20, 28. Whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. And whoever wants to be the first must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man did, did not come uh, to, be a, to be served, but to serve and to give his, his life and ransom of many. We are here to serve, to love, to lead by example, following the footsteps of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you all for being here today and for sharing this joyous occasion. May the Lord bless you and keep you, and may his face shine upon you always. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now I want to welcome Your Grace, Eminence, Bishop Ben, newest bishop in town, to speak to our congregation. Praise the name of the Lord. Wana JCM, praise the name of the Lord. You are Excellency, the Deputy President, and the second in command in this nation of Kenya. Our son, the son of the greater mountain, Mount Kenya, Honrabo Rigadi Wagashagua. My great fathers in faith. Archbishop Harrison K. Nganga and our mother Reverend Lucy Nganga His Grace Archbishop Frederick Wangobe Waderito and our mom Nina Wamuirure His Lordship the Grace who ordained me in the office of the pastor in Gatundu, Francis Karioki Wamureibi. All bishops led by our mother, Bishop Mother Nganga, CFF Mombasa Diocese. All clergy that are represented here, my pastors of JCM Churches International, 
who are in the physical church and those who are watching from our international churches. The leadership of JCM Church from our patron, Mr. Elijah Kamau, from our matron, Tamaris Muridi, and our chairman, Mr. Charles Jenga. To all our invited guests, members of our National Assembly of Kenya, our great leaders, governors who are present, former governors, and of course our great friends who have come from all way far. I can see Mweshmiwa Eugene Wamalwa all the way from the western of this Kenya. I can see His Excellency Stephen Kalonzo Musioka all the way from Ukambani. My great family where this great man today came from and where my mother came from. Where my wife also came from, they are all here. Because today is not just a normal day in JCM. This is historical. I will begin with thanking all JCM members. Because in our constitution, the sovereign power of this church is in these great men and women who are members of this compassionate community. For allowing me to serve them, despite the names that I was called, despite the doubts, that the whole world had about me serving this great church. They believed in my capacity. Some of the bishops who are JCM pastors have been under me without this rank or this staff. They have respected me for one and a half years. We have used respect and not ranks in this church to be where we are with more than two one branches and four international branches. Gayuria Uradi Managa Aro Muradima. Hamwe Nasiana Sianyu Kiradi Mogia Kwakia Bereta Bishovu Niene Nueda He Nekoje Tekeria Komotuga Ta. Onarea done kagataita getokoria moke jetekia moke nyumaduda nieke muonia wedo na koigua nerada da modaida modegio yotori orewa koigua nerada orea tuari kandeide. Thank you so much, my people. Nina wa penda nyote. Kuma kanida vitoa ti poroa ginya kanida vitoa kamuagi. Kuma kanitha vito wa Mombasa, ginya kanitha vito wa Njiri. Mimi ni na wapenda, na nitaishi kuwa eshimu, ihidariri ya reyothe, kukoro the bishop wa JCM. To my wife, when I told you that I want to go back to church, you were the first person who told me, onoguo ni kuigieda. You believed in my capacity. Despite Maud Maria Mode, you believed in me. And when I went to Archbishop Frederick Wangombe, a man who shaped the reason into why we have today, Archbishop, when I was writing invitations card, you were the first person who received our card. I wanted to have you here so that you see where the vision that you saw is heading to. You authorized Bishop Francis Karioki when he was serving in Gatondo. You told him, go and anoint that man. 
He knows well that I respect him so much. And that is why I requested him to come and carry my vestments. Because from him, this great man was made. A man who will convince the world that the name change still has a value. Thank you so much. I will live to respect you. Any time, any moment, you need me and my support in AIPCA Church. I am still their son, serving away from home. Just like a son who grows and builds his house away from his father. That is the way I am to you people. I am still your son. Naharia ojige tagatagate ka moirore. Nagatagate ka asami. Luka na jeheri yo. Uge dika fafa wa igire. I still remain your son. And not only a son, but a powerful son. Thank you so much for shaping the reason of this day. You never know what you changed in me. Now we are going to get But you allowed me to serve. You are not going to be able to serve. And I remember the word which you said. I remember the word which you said. I kuigira kwa Lazaro kwanza kayo akamuhonokia no udini ni andu wale amarija makinaga na Jesu aigira kuoneke kigo ke uno dirikanaga thank you so much igia kwa gate ine kiu ni jai gwa taitari muriku igia kwa gate ine kiu mwina muthuri ucio uracokirie nyire na niyo ene demuhete gitiyo ni twaragia you have talked about the foundation here. And I know you are the foundation of the whatever beautiful we can see. And I will never despise your foundation. When I came out of AIPCA, this great man here, Bishop Ben Nganga, and his wife, were the first Pentecostal friends who received me through their sister who came and joined this church, Helen Nana. They introduced me to their mother, Bishop Mother Nana, who I respect you so much. They later took me to a bishop. Harrison Ghana. I think I am the I, I think I'll, I'll, I'll be the most respect, respecting son that you have anointed throughout your servanthood. When I came to you wa jerira ke gai ne go kwa mura to no mahetia mari ora ogwetairo ne mari ama ne ko ne mundu ndori mundu uragite No kijira wa namura tu gata rifururiyo Maadhe jiriado na makiulagado no ke mamura Sugo isi onesi ya hira muwe hoko no ke hedhi kuminogo keda Ukiwadhi ya gatu ilio Amenya ke medhire yako And when you called me and told me that I have qualified To become a bishop to lead this great church of JCM In my generation I think in my generation, the Gen Zs, I 
I will defend you. I will protect your character as a father. And anywhere your name is mentioned, I will tell them he is a great father of this nation. I thank you. You opened your doors with your wife. You opened your houses. I've been coming there. And you became our Pentecostal father. We shall respect you as JCM. <laughs> Bishop Ben Nganga and Patricia, you never knew the brother whom you welcomed in your home. And as the Bible says, that welcome your guests well might be they are your angels. I and my wife shall become your angels. We shall never disappoint you. And in our compassion journey, we will walk together. You remember when we met, I told you, my brother, become my brains because I don't have. Become my leg. Go faster than me, and I will think faster than you. May the vow of David and Jonathan between us remain. This consecration stamps into why you became my brother. You are a great man. When you asked me, will you disappoint my uncle? I told you I never. And for sure you have seen. For a year and a half, we've been in probation. I've never disappointed you. Keep hold of my hand. We have a good journey together. And through I and you, the Ben's generation, something in this nation will be born. Thank you so much. I want to read my small speech. And this speech, as I said, I am not only a bishop for JCM because our doors over there are always open for people who speak our language and people who do not speak our language. Can you go to the house? I will go to the house. I will go to the house. Because a leader is born for his people and his nation. My deputy president, Eha, Ninega Otavia, Nakaoga, Quacanini Mono. Nadua class eight in the Twisida Gianai. Ogi Caro, a hecarugo, we go ahead, not what Raquira. Where the Mesmua Koiburi, Kana Mesmua Kuya, Kana Waroguru, we go ahead to Matarakuira, Kana Mesmua Aqua, Mesmua Kingara, we go ahead to Matarakuira, Woka Ujuri, Toda Dwight, the Tushira Gianai Yamu. No Dura Guadaguira, it another must be Jiaqua. Family to the Ha. Niji ya rituwa ni ya dwarea Na diri ya papa na mami maku ile gada Tuwa ni mudhuri wihana weta kwa Mr. Kiuna Na mutumia wa kenashi ya nashi ya ono marugame That is my family Kuri ya hanyo kaga Rira daigu wa negu weda kuwana mami Rira daigu wa negu weda kuwana papa Nye kina ngera kwa na mudhuri ulia And God made it happen that my father is Joseph And his name is Joseph Bere ya dwasi yo the daru kwa miyana dahidi ya geti yo I would want to tell you that I got to get the area of the Mekuheana Geteo, Mount Kenya. Count me number one. Nani Hana Tawe, the Kagiri Riyadu Maroiga.
Moiga marenda mutu niguo dehaga guku. Moiga marenda mahoya niegeta beni agatongoria mahoya gainithia. Made hera mwana otari vivi gatwara shukuru. Todu dikagiriria uria maroiga. Na ni uhana tani ni kio tohotanaga. Uria doya maroiga dikiriria uguo. And my prayer is that as our deputy president and our most senior leader in Mount Kenya protect the dignity of these people. Don't allow anyone divert you from the Mount Kenya agenda. Na mana geno kajita Nini madhi kagiriria dauga makire Didi hinya muigyo na family Ito nilo na haria Uri ya muto gufio ni my brother Osio ibele na mutumia wake Na mengo bemwe Pajetiri oke jila toka ruwe na johi Marori maitume guko Gime kilabisa siyaku na mutumia wako Diyururu kete gira gado ya tiga hii johi Netoko ni narorele Majuri ya dato mwono Gamorote rabisa Yuhaya ya kwa nore mwe Tabisho kumudha nya wawo mwode Wamurito atetere adwaya Hawo kinye ile Dagoza hitha Doka kinyo kiyo Tuitiria ido sito Tuitiria ido sito Nyihira inia mutu hari aja Tuitiria ido sito Nyiha nyihia siyana Iri adina adho mithi ya goko Kanitha ini Nadoka asonoke Akbishop auga sugoja kamono haa Mudo hinya wake Umaga ado ini Naroga miyatu gati ya kwa auga dena hinya Todumeho Korodi umonomwe igione kaitari hinya No oneke totari hinya No kukwela tamade kore ya moiga In the book of Psalms Alia memwe na wa Ona mateko alia newa hige Isio kwara gia tamutu gate ni muto goria Juge mwano vitu ahe ogete yo Mwano hitu wa menyeneruo Mwano hitu wa dikiri liyo ni halina kaudu wa roiga Nogigati deko wa muno Shokana muzie ni uliku wa nyu This is the Lord's doing And it is truly marvelous in our eyes A dream may tally but it surely comes to pass. This one has come to pass. After a long wait, nights of prayers, days of fasting, and surely our Lord is faithful enough. My journey in serving God hasn't been easy. It has been full of ups and downs, but surely... It has been fulfilling. Touching lives through compassion has been my passion and my mission. How I wish that my late mother and my father could be alive today to see me standing before great men of this nation doing what they wanted me to do but because they are not there by making them proud i will serve you people and my nation faithfully this is a great opportunity for more compassion activities which will touch millions and millions 
all over this nation. So far, we have built more than 80 houses to needy families. A new one about to be completed for the victims of flash floods in my Mahio. This opportunity, the office of the bishop, I'm ready to shelter more people who are in need and fit to be helped by our church. Previously, I have fed thousands of families in my new office of the bishop. I'm ready for the challenge to feed millions, educate thousands of the less fortunate families. As I take my new office, I'm ready to take new challenges in serving God through compassion, new challenges to touch lives, spirituality, and physically all over this nation. Beyond tribal boundaries, beyond religious boundaries, and beyond any human boundary. And this one, I ask God to help me. My office will be known for no boundaries, no class, no political segmentation, but will give an opportunity to the neediest Kenyans. I'll be a bishop of everyone and of everybody. May God guide me through this as I achieve my compassionate goals, feeding the hungry, housing the homeless, educating the needy and preaching and spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ to the less fortunate in our nation. Recently, in partnership with our American partners, Partners for Care, we launched a computer school in a very remote village in Marsabit for them to understand what the globe is doing in terms of information technology through the partnership of partners for care we launched a fashion school in my Mayu, dedicating it to the floods floods victims and by this i shall do more and the one that is upcoming in chaka where our patron comes from to my JCM fraternity, words are not enough to thank you for supporting my vision and this dream. The ascension from 800 members when we were in Varsity Vile Estate, where we were chased after our third Sunday, hit 1,200 members with less than three months and now in a year and a half the main church is hosting more than 10,000 members and where our smallest branch in Kamwangi has more than 30 members this True love from you people is overwhelming. Once again, Gai Arom Radima. Gayosio Adeidia Arom Teidia. Gayosio Azediare Toria Quao Modi. Aro Sediare Toria New. Gayosio Adiguerada Arom Uiguerada. Gayosio Anya Baradia Arom Baradia. On a Quanu, the Quayo Omue too. A Togerion to a Musius Yongiwan. To my online church, which has more than 500,000 members, we began it when we were in Gatondo, led by our patron, Mr. Getonga, residing in the USA. Where is Mr. Getonga? Thank you so much, our online patron. Our online chairman, Mr. John, who lives in Iraq, and you have all traveled to come and experience and see what you people began. May God bless you for supporting me, for standing with me 
all the days of your life. To my pastor, my pastor, my online pastor, Pastor Francis Mohea. You have been a brother whom I requested to come all the way from Qatar so that we serve together in the physical church. Your impact in this church has been felt. You are that son I don't want to sit or stay away from. And one day, be faithful. Maybe you will inherit what I'm holding because you have a great future. To my online congregation, you don't know how strong I am. Knowing well that you are viewing all over the world. In every nation that Kenya is represented. May God bless you. To all our churches, international churches. Through Mr. John and Grace who are here. I don't know where they are seated. All the way from America you traveled to come. You began JCM Seattle Church that has members more than any other church in America. African churches. I don't know how to repay you. You requested me to wear your watch in my consecration and I did it. If this faith will work wonders in your life, receive my bishopric office blessings as you go back to America. I am so much humbled. May God bless you. <laughs> to my colleagues in Kamema FM, if you are my colleague, you can stand up. For the last 14 years, Kameme FM has been my home. When I joined Kameme, and I was called for a photo session after... I won the talent search Nakuru region. I requested my elder brother, Pastor Kiari, to give me his suit. I requested him to come over. He is my elder brother. He is a pastor. When I was told that I will join Kameme, I didn't have clothes because my mother was sick. Back from the village where we've come from, where Shimua Solo is here, my home area MCA in Majimazuri, Baringo County. From our home to Nakuru, that time was 150 shillings that I couldn't afford. I wrote, a, I wrote a letter to my brother and gave it to a conductor because he was a driver. I said, 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 I Yo barua aliniandikia nilikaa naye karibu miaka miwili sababu aliniandikia barua kaniambia my brother nime nimeitwa kwa kameme for the photo session kale kasuti kako kazuri ama kama kale kazee kwa zile suti zako unipatie tu ndio niende nako nilikuwa na kasuti nikakakunja vizuri lakini hiyo barua nili, nilipoisoma my brother made a request to me to suit yangu moja kati ya zile ambazo nilikuwa nazo nilijikuta nikimwagia machosi nilipanga suti na nikampatia na nafikiri alisema alikaa naye ikazeeka mpaka ikageuka rangi my brother held a thana mura damu adekire maro masio darikirie na gikuyu ndire damu ira cigoire damu irie na gikuyu good ajirire atire juge na gikuyu muru wa maitu no more than to drag to hoya. 
Nolo should be a cohoe. Thank you. Those were the words. Ilia Damuria. Damuria carried it to her duty to Gaho Robis. Nagohoa to all Modi. Nero should be a cohoe. And I thank God from his wardrobe. Dutiria Kiraganig. Any de Mori. Nanikyoda in the Gainako Magadena and the Hoka Yakenyan. That time our mother was sick. I thought you are naughty and I'm the last born in a family of 18 children. My father no to me, we took care of the Moses Yogan Keda. At what are they I don't need that Kirwaki Gan. The Akori de Rea Makorete. I went through a lot. Ginaoka Gutigachuku. From a tent, thank you, Mikarel. From a tent that we had there to this mega church, the biggest church. Around this region of Kambu to Moranga, you can name them. I would like to appreciate the office of my patron led by Mofam. Nadari ya diye kanitha kuma nere asia liru. Nere ya damu liene gosoka kanitha. Mudhenya wako wa muru. Nye tigerile kode ya jirile doi maudu mara ya meka uo idi. Nore dioni nene ndaikara kanitha mweli. Eri dia do. Nye diye dete ya hujia. Na dio ya hujia. No uyo raho no kire gionaga. Nadiwe ikarite kumeli ya tatu raso kanako ukuturi. Nye reke no meri liyo. And for the last five years, this man stood with me. Tura kire makarida na na kagatodo. Tura di kivya tura koma odo. And now back here, we have done a lot. Iyo ari akwane ga yagotori moyo mono. Oko na kuri agadi. Tudo ya do godi. May God bless you. In the office of our matron, Mrs. Damaris Murey. Despite the many talks allowed, you remain firm even when the enemies of JCM stood up, you stood strong. And because of your office, we can see the integrity of this office through the hair and head turbans that are with our women who are here because you care for young and for the old. And through your office, we have seen immense growth and especially in our small local churches where you like to visit them. May God bless you and may God do you good. To our chairman, Mr. Charles, you were the first old man who entered into this church when we began. And I remember someone told you, why are you joining a comedian church? And you told them, because he is the one who is saying what I want to hear. You told them, I've been with you for this time. But what that man is preaching, I've never seen in here. You joined us with your wife, Mama Ken. I don't know where she's seated. Mama Ken, Sisi Kama Kanisa, Atuna Manen. Na tutaenderea kuwa shikiria, na kusimama na nyi. May you live long to see where this vision is heading to. I would like to appreciate groups and departments in this church. From the welfare department to the medical department. The men fellowship, 
Women fellowship led by Pastor Lillian Gina. A girl whom I have shaped to be who she is. For 14 years I have known Lillian. Right now, his son is in Mango High School. Under the sponsorship of this church. His son scored 412 marks. And he is now in Form 3. I took him when we were in Gatondo. Thank you so much, Pastor Lillian. To all widows of JCM, you know where you sit in my heart. Led by Kate Wawa B. I don't know where she's seated. Kate, you know where widows sit inside my heart. And I want to promise you, can all widows of JCM stand on their feet? This women archbishop has been my pillar in prayers. And of course in this Sunday, it is International Widows Day. And we will celebrate you in this church because we love you and we will continue loving you and take care of you in this church. Our construction and development team led by Chairman Elias. I know you have done a lot. Together with brothers of compassion, they can all rise up where they are seated, brothers of compassion in this church. I know many of them are outside there working. Brothers of compassion, you know what this thing means to us. May we continue with the brotherly love that we have in this church. Our welfare department led by Mr. Ndongo, which hosts the Lord's store which is the heart of this church. That is where we store our food. That is where we store our facilities, our hygienic staffs, our wheelchair and mobility uh, 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 things in this church. Our construction team led by Ibu and our security team led by Janja in this church, all departments, I thank you. I would like to especially thank our pastors from all our branches countrywide and internationally. Your unity, commitment, and passion for the compassion gospel has led to the tremendous growth of our satellite churches. In my new office, it is my new number one commitment to make sure that the compassionate gospel has reached to the farthest corner of this church. To the Deputy President, His Excellency, Regarding Gashagwa, you told me when I visited your office that you learned compassion by watching this church in your phone. And you told me you will work so hard to do what compassion entails. And I want to thank God through you we have seen more than three students needy Reporting to international schools from your own finances. What I can say is that JCM, we are known in this nation. Our have said a lot, but allow me to finish with these words. Embrace everyone with love. Hold each other with compassion. Serve people with the food you can eat because tables can turn. More so, this has been our motto in JCM. Can everybody shake someone's hand who is near them and say this let love lead let love lead
And this was my prayer, my deputy president, as I wind up. It has been my prayer that Mount Kenya will come to heal in this church. We had invited the former president, Uhuru Kenyatta. But he got commitment due to his nature of work. And this is my prayer. Because we have his appointment to come and worship with us here. This is my only prayer. That when he shall come to service with us, Your Excellency, please allow that that day you will also join us. to come and worship with us because you are both our Mount Kenya sons and we equally love and respect you. If that day will come, then this consecration will have more meaning to the people who drives our way to home in the Mount Kenya region. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, for allowing yourself to come and worship with us. Sisi Tunakupenda. Tuko nyuma yako na ukisema tutasikiza na tutafuata. Usiwe na shaka, jitie nguvu na tunakuombea. Hata wasipoomba, mimi nitaomba. Ugekaga mudhe igi wakoto togolia na ihenya. Giro yu, netukadhi nawe. Tuitaidhi adwa ito. May God bless you. May God do you good. Asante sana. Well, the man can speak.